Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our El well, young El Cid, baby El Cid, baby Rodrigo, El Cid's son, playthrough here in Crusader Kings 3, Tours and Tournaments, where, well, if you didn't, if, if you've not watched the previous episodes, watch the previous episodes, guys, but we started off as El Cid, uh, basically you start as Castile, give El Cid some territory because he's in the court, and we set up down here, Pope gave us a claim on France, which we took it because France was an absolute mess, absolute anarchy there. So for for, for God and the Pope, we went and reclaimed. We re went and reclaimed France. Please don't don't demonetize me for saying that right at the start of my video, YouTube. And yeah, uh, went to claim France. I wasn't expecting to win, but we won and ended up with El Cid as the King of France. We then had to put down several rebellions and then. Right in the tournament, just as El Cid was going to compete at the ripe old age of 54, was still 36 prowess, was about to walk out, striding onto the field, he died. Uh, leaving his son, who is 8, and already has 20 prowess, guys. So, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, we're currently, and, and we have currently had an uprising, a usurper for the, uh, throne, who we are going to kick the butt of, and we've, uh, called our allies in. Uh, ooh, I can use swing power. Okay, this is good. So, what's happening here is my regent has become, is becoming too powerful. And now I am old enough, I'm eight, I can swing the scales to show who truly rules the land. Um, ask for an intercession from Head of Faith, use a hook. Uh, leverage Piety. I don't, can't gold. I could leverage Prestige, but I want to be saving my Prestige at the moment, which spends more than I've got. I might have to do that. Yeah, we are going to balance the scales of power a bit. So pull the power back my way. If he gets too powerful, war waits for no man. I can manage things from here. I mean, yeah. So basically each one of these, you know, that gives him more power and more abilities until eventually, Ultimate ability is demanding permanent transfer of rule, or they can, you know, so basically they can force themselves into the, being the king if needs be. I did have, I, I unfortunately let my mum marry, marry England, but it does mean I've got England as an ally, which is good, who are coming my way. Ooh, ooh, ew. Hold on, I'm coming! Hey, so Duke Henry likes me. So the army is being built up here to start with for obvious reasons. Because we are just going to try and defend our lands. Excellent! Which means I can also call Andalusia into this war. And it's defensive war, so it doesn't cost anything. My regent. I could get lucky and he could die. March. Keep on raising troops. Catch them quickly, that would be solid, but I need to defend Paris. Defending Paris is the key thing here, guys. This is where I wish I'd kept my clerk thrown down here. Uh, you know what? You can have a tax lien. I don't want to be dealing with extra crap at the moment. I'm kind of hoping I get lucky and my, uh... And my, uh, <laughs> regent dies in this war. <laughs> Is that bad? <clears throat> And 
until next time. There we go. Burn it. Let's march on their main army. Let's put this rebellion down as fast as we can. There's been an attempt in on my. Okay. Interesting. Oh, now you're going to try and run away. We can do this. <clears throat> Especially if we catch you like that. And we don't even have all of our allies here yet. Not quite as a good a leader as, as El Cid was, but El Cid was just spectacular. I, I was winning battles with less than half the troops the enemy had because he was so ridiculously powerful. If he's even half of what El Cid was. I think I'm burning for a few nights there. Do I actually see my accolades? Ah, here. bit concerned by him making himself more powerful. We need to keep keep making sure we uh, reduce him. Right, let's chase these armies because I need to, basically if I can clear those armies. Again, the key thing here is keeping them off Paris. If they take Paris there's a chance they'll capture me. Which is which absolutely need to avoid. Go, another good battle here. And the nice thing here is we'll be able to claim to get some more of our local territory back into our hands. Though, whether I actually want it, I'm kind of happy for France to mostly be held by the French. Though we'll probably put a few Castilians in charge of some of these places. Good, loyal Castilians. I could always offer white peace. But it will just happen again. Oh look, we've got more likelihood of things going wrong. That's right, just drive them into the through our territory, meaning they lose troops every time they do that. Nope, 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 nope. They are getting too close to Paris for my liking. No, we've won this. There's no need for a white piece. Let's go and try and capture here near Paris. Sister. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. There we go. And I can call another ally in.
Oh, the world is helping France. Helping the heir of El Cid. I'm concerned I've not gained any extra things learning stuff yet. Off award, uh, me. Let's do it, because hopefully it means I'll be, rather than being here, I'll be up there. And he will hopefully teach me. We'll see how it goes. God damn. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> I'm not actually that worried. As long as he doesn't make me English. Let's go drive him out of there. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have moved yet. I've broke the other sieges. Vito. Yeah, let's call him into my war. I didn't can I do that to anybody? No. I mean, he is my regent. He should have definitely been joining. Ooh, okay. Just greedy or callous. I mean, we, we are uh, the heir of El Cid. Of course we will be just. Right. Title. And execute. Revoke title. And execute. I can't revoke another title, but I can certainly negotiate his release and banish him. Uh, revoke title. I do need to, yeah, I'm aware I need to give away a few things, but we've got people to give them to. Right, let's look at my duchy. Oh, it's not even in my duchy. God damn it. There we go. Anyway, I'll, I'll keep hold of here for the time being. Um, but yeah. Oh, that's annoying. Ah. 
And let's ransom the rest off. Here we go. That's a problem for the future, unfortunately. There we go. So we dealt with those traitors. That's good. Ooh. Yes. Uh, let's change the route slightly. There we go. So avoid the danger zone. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I won't arrive in time. Let's have a think. Is there any way I can make it better? Because I'd like to go, because we can get various really good things from it. It's planes? It's the control is the issue. How about if I go via C? No. Unfortunately, I can't go to that one. It's just not worth the risk. I don't want him to be my guardian. As soon as I can sway the scales, I definitely want to do that. There we go. Ooh, somebody else to meet us. time. Unfortunately, there's just too much going on at the moment. How about if I just move it slightly that way? Nope, not going to do it. Annoying, but I don't think I want to risk getting killed. Not when I don't have a set, have a spare. I mean, I do have a spare, but not a spare enough spare. Ooh. Oh, I didn't realise that. That I'm gonna go out Provence after somebody <clears throat> loses a bit of money, but it's actually quite useful uh, because it gives us more friendly allies around us. And in fact, long run, potentially some better ways of dealing with things is we'll, we'll create some duchies for these people. But for now, I don't want to. Okay. Wait. Right, 
this isn't right. Hang on. A small matter of final approvement. Uh, let's veto that again. He is not liking me. Do we want the blacksmiths? I mean, that is quite good. Certainly someone like this is really powerful. Okay, there we go. I wish it paused when these things happen. Anybody from Paradox watching, it would be really good to have it pause automatically when uh, an event happened, which has got a time, is timed for you to get to. There we go. No, seriously, any event where you've got to have time to get to, pausing as it pops would be really good. Or an option to pause it. Where is there an option to pause it? No, not that I can see. Lots of guests. <clears throat> Welcome! 21 already. That's just good. Extra learning. Knowingly, my marshal's actually fairly low. No! My sister! Back down. Yes. And another claimant. Of course, there's always another goddamn claimant. Wait, why do I... Have I lost that alliance? Let's break that betrothal then. I'm going to leave it for the moment. Hmm. Let's try and learn his language. I right, more people to be replaced by good Castilians. I am gonna swap to uh, increasing development for the time being. Because while we're not French, it is very accepted, and eventually we will form a hybrid culture, but yeah. Eventually. He can stop trying to give himself goddamn power. Humble. Hmm. I mean, we're not going to do deceitful. It doesn't fit the fit the character I'm trying to play. Humble very much fits, actually, uh, because while we are, El Cid was meant to be humble. Uh, why? Why no pause? I'm not going to be able to get to either of these in time, am I? Okay, he's not even far, and he is a nice easy one. There we go.
22 and we're 11. We are already able to beat quite a lot of knights here. Uh, let us simply have a conversation. I look forward to this. Okay. <clears throat> so we're at somebody else's for three months. It's quite a while. Come on, let's see how this goes. Oh, this one. I will save her. One of these days I'll actually end up wounded and I'll really regret it. Come on, give me another prowess challenge. I want more prowess. <laughs> 24! Oh my god! <clears throat> I mean, some of that is from a spear, to be fair. This is not as good as I'm thinking. Okay, so somebody else forced the Regency off him. Uh, pull that back. <clears throat> Loyalty. Situational. Situational. See, the longer I am a Regent for, the harder this is going to be to deal with. But we are pulling it back. Uh... Tip them towards you, or as I fulfill the mandate. Extra, yeah, fill coffers. We're gonna swap two. Where are you? So I want to customize that route slightly to avoid. So on the way there. And we avoid all the danger. There we go. Apply. And let's go. <clears throat> so we are going a long way, but yeah. It's worth it. Especially for these things giving us all the extra prowess. I mean, 24 prowess even with the spear at this age is good. Uh, I mean, we're, we're not going to be original L Cid levels, but we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do well. I will not be threatened. I can manage things in here. Rally the troops. Once again, we are going to rally them all here. Call to war. So can I? No, that is because they're my uh, my region, and I could. Hmm. Let's have a look. I think. We're going to be okay once I've got my allies in as well. As long as they get here quick enough. I know this is going to put us in a tricky situation for a while, but I need, I need the support. This 
is risky. It's if I can beat them before they get here. I am taking a big risk here. But if I can. Okay, let's turn around and try and get that. I feel accomplished. <clears throat> yeah, if I can drive them apart and cap hit them one at a time. Uh... Veto. No. It's pushing the wrong way again. Pay a bit of attention to that, but we're mostly dealing with this war at the moment. <clears throat> and the English have arrived! So we kind of got an equivalent of the Angevin Empire going on, but not quite. I look forward to this. Sermon. Ooh. So I can be, let's have a look. Uh, zealous. Does give me the extra marshal. Ambitious. Very good. Or sadistic. I think ambitious. Yes. Puff everything and a bit more uh, prowess. I will save him. Only if we're the parents. Good. Get them off Paris fast. I don't think they're about to take it, but you never know. <clears throat> there we go. Try and get them as they're fording. Me, my marshal is not as high as I'd like it to be. Yo. I would like to start numbing up the rest of France, but we've not really had a chance. Okay, enforced demands. Boof. Negotiate release. I'm gaining a weak hook, because I can beat him again if needs be. Negotiate release. Uh, no. Revoke his title. Apparently, I can't. In which case, negotiate release. Banish! I can't, okay. Okay. 
Okay, and the key thing here is we are now going to modify this to remove that. He can lose titles now if he ever declares war on me again. <clears throat> hmm. I get confused when it says I can do this, but then I can't. And all of that while we were away. Don't tell my 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 uh, regent he's doing a good job, guys. He might get big-headed and try not to ever let me be king. I'll allow it. an attempt on it. Hmm. I'm too poor. Can't meet peers. I'm too skint. <laughs> <clears throat> there we go. It's going up. Nice and close. Ooh. Oh. He is a treacherous villain. That's a great person to have in charge of me. Yeah. <sighs> Vito. We'll have money soon. Oh, nice. I gained the Trent trait Hunter. That's quite good. Extra prowess again. As well as extra stress loss. <clears throat> nice. Boiling anger. You might be king, but you are also a loathsome buffoon. Ooh. How dare he? See, why is it saying? Oh, I do actually have something. Pleasure as always, there we go. Oh, I can hold a grand tour. I can't afford to, but I'm gonna meet peers. Again. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, I'll allow him that guy. I'm back home. I'm a man now. Brilliant strategist. Nice. I, I kind of wanted more martial, but I'm still... I'm martial enough. We're obviously going to go for a martial tree, guys. And, I mean, we, we currently have 29 martial. Can I... What happens if he doesn't accept? Oh, 
Okay, I have a bit of a problem. Let's try and make him friendly with me. Uh, we have a problem. We, we are going to have to get rid of this guy. <clears throat> Somehow. Welcome. I mean, I'm still... Yeah. We have problem. There we go. Ah, oh, I gained fumbling. There we go. Uh, that's fine. It's fine. Until next time. There we go. And I gained a bit of learning. Okay. There we go. We will end the Regency. Oh! Oh, until I'm 18, it doesn't go, but... Uh, but it's no longer entrenched. So that's fine. We've basically removed all of its power. So while they're still in charge of me for the time being, because I'm still technically a child, I am... Yeah. Hang on. Cancel. So there's two types of pilgrimage I can go on. But no, start. I think what we really need is a feast. Not that I'm going to be able to afford to. A murder feast? Oh! Honorary guest. a look. It will keep it fairly simple because this, this gains me uh, prestige which I really uh, which I'm going to need to, to create a culture at some point. My glory is widely known. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. I know I'm not married. Dangerous, she's quite a lot younger than me, but that's really solid, so... Let's do it. It's a risk, but we'll do it. The feast begins! Detain him at once! Gain a bit of dread. Nah, I'm not gonna execute him. But I will ransom him. Here we go. Recognize the intellect. Fellow intellectual. What a great night. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. Two thousand six hundred, so obviously. Uh, we want to do another hunt as soon as we can. A hunt as soon as we can. Uh I'm going to force myself to get it, uh, to, uh, get the extra. And with that, it's done! Every courtly vassals. Nice. Nice. And we gain eager reveler. Let's finish the feast. And straight into... I can't afford a hunt just yet, but we will get a hunt as soon as we can. I can't even... Why does it say I can start a Grand Tour, but... There's no way I can even vaguely afford it. I can cancel it for now. I do want to do one, but it's probably going to be next time. Oh. Yes, we will accept the call to war. Oh god. Northumbria is... This is going to be a fun one. Uh, not right now. I'm at war. I... am at war. <laughs> England has saved us several times, so we will set sail to save her. But that is going to be next time, guys. So, uh, next time, young El Cid will set sail to save England from the Northobrian, the Anglo-Saxons, who are revolting against their English overlords. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you are enjoying this as much as I'm enjoying playing it. Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying it. And uh, pop a comment down below. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons. That's Monster Bound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Prataru, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, and Jared Horn. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers, all.